just now pulling into Buffalo. I'm gonna meet uh, Luke with Warsaw Adventures. Um, Luke uh, owns the uh, the kayak and bike outdoor uh, rental shop there at Warsaw. Um, called him about maybe buying a kayak and we got to talking and it turns out that uh, you know, he's a kayak enthusiast, of course, and he has sonar equipment on a kayak. Um, and we got to talking about this. Um, and he was like, wow, yeah, I wanna go check it, check it out. So I do have my scuba diving equipment with me, uh, but there is like almost no chance that I will actually get in the water if we find anything. Uh, the reason be, is because the toxicity of the water, um, because the bats are dropping basically fertilizer into the water over and over, that just allows that blue-green algae uh, and to grow. And the amount that it is probably growing in the water uh, makes the water literally toxic. Uh, you ingest this, it could kill you, is how bad it probably is here right there's woods so I'm um, looking for a truck with a kayak in the back so I don't know if I beat him down here or not right there he is there he is ha! I pulled in basically at the same time Found you. That's pretty good timing. Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so, ah, uh, couldn't get it to stick my dash, and now it wouldn't come undone. Now it won't come off. Uh, that, that's that's Luke. That's that's the kayak. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna stop this. He and I are gonna chat, and then we'll uh, head to a quarry. Luke's just behind me. We're gonna head over to. Uh, Sheriff's office, just let them know that we're here, kind of shake hands, introduce Luke. Uh, you know, always, you know, when, we, when you're dealing with things like this, law enforcement is so very important, you know, and to keep that good relationship open, the line of communication. Uh, and I will say this about Dallas County Sheriff's offices, they've been, they've been a big advocate. I've asked, you know, Anything I've asked of them, they, they've come through. All right, um, we can go down this hill, okay. at, the, at the bottom of the hill, uh, to launch. Uh, we we'll may even have to go through some, some brush and stuff like that, so. Yeah. yeah, we wanted to get around on that, what, kind of northeast side of it? Well, actually, actually on, the, on, the, on the opposite side of that, okay. from that little peninsula that sticks out, it's probably where you need to get to need to well we'll need to get in okay. to get around to that um it's kind of blocked and then okay. all grown up so yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we can put it so in all right so let's we'll just head to the bottom of the hill sounds great to get into this quarry back in 2013 this was a lot a lot more cleared out you'd have to go look almost straight down you take that little road there I'm pointing to that right there, and that would take you on back. And you probably might even still be able to drive that. So if you see this road here, there's no access to the water on this side. Uh, and then all the way around, the brush has grown up. You just can't get in. There's only one way in, and it's down off that peninsula. So, like the quarry is to our right. And you see the ledge there. There's no way a car could have drove over there. I couldn't even get this four-wheel drive pickup in there. They have suspicion that this would be a, a place that he could be at. Like, well, this this fits the description of what this guy said he would do. It'd be a, somewhere deep, somewhere nobody would find him. Or um, I'll get. You can. What I'll do is I'll back up here and start getting unloaded uh -huh. and uh, get hooked up. It'll take me five, ten minutes or so to get things rigged up, and we'll uh, we'll get it on the water. Yeah. 
the good thing is the water looks pretty clear once we're out there it's just all the the nutrients in the water making it murky so, yeah but uh but yeah we can check it out toxic <laughs> it can be yeah yeah if you drink it for sure if you get it in the eyes mouth nose yeah that, uh, it could definitely put you in the hospital but if uh as long as we keep it out of that then uh, we should be all right yeah. and that's mostly you've mentioned that there was bats and stuff in this area so yeah um, lots of things to you'll, you'll see the you'll see the caverns and this okay. is a bat reserve right okay so and i don't know what kind of bats there are you've done some work with bats right. yeah what, so is, what is that my previous experience with bats uh was uh, back when the long uh northern long ear bat got listed uh, mm -hmm. i was doing private consulting so we did a lot of natural resource work um come combine my kayak experience with my natural resource work today uh so you'll you might hear me talk a little bit about the the algae and the bats and and all the natural resources in this area um, mm -hmm. kind of comes together to create a not so nice area for humans but uh great for bats and and probably some fish depending on certain species we'll uh but we'll hit the water and uh see what we can find he's getting his thing all set up there got the magnet rope just in case and getting her all set up these are some sweet viking kayaks he actually sells these at his shop there at warsaw adventures he doesn't know this, but he's giving me the ultimate demo of one of these kayaks. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. And uh, so we're, we'll probably have the collection. And yeah, most of them, especially the pro fish versions, have this uh, pod system. So you're able to remove it from the kayak and stick it into anything else. This is actually my wife's kayak. It's a shorter boat than mine, but it's a lot more stable. So for this type of paddling, um, where we're wanting to stay stable. Yeah. Um, if you've ever used a, a graph on a kayak, sometimes when you're paddling, you'll get all these little squigglies on your side imaging. Mm -hmm. And we don't want that on under today's conditions. Yeah. So, uh, well, and the transducer is underneath that right. thing there. Yeah, it sits on the bottom. So it's in the center of your kayak. Right. So that's, there's not as much shake there. Right. And there's not a, a lot of offset or anything like that that you have to worry about. So, why don't we just take a quick spin? You can see where we're at here. Just launched off the western edge of this quarry. I see those caves there behind me. Okay, so I've got the side imaging finally set up. Get out of that window here real quick. We'll show you that here in a, in a little bit if I find something that looks neat. But uh, right now I've got side imaging and down imaging set up. And uh, it's scanning off. 30 feet, so 30 feet to the left, 30 feet to the right. Of course, I'm not 30 feet from the shore, so it's picking up hard bank there, but 11 feet right through here. We'll want to pick it up to about two miles an hour. I'll put this down a little bit. Really get a good image. We're heading towards the caves right now. Just want to take it nice and easy in a kayak, especially when you're paddling and not with a motor. If uh, if you move side to side, I'll show you what it does. If I was to be rocking back and forth with my paddles, you'll notice all the the squiggly lines up here, up on top that show up. That's why it's important to have a nice stable kayak. And this Viking Profish GT actually provides me that stability. So shout out to the folks at Viking made in New Zealand. Amazing boats for stability wise. Not creating any shake here. We're only in eight feet of water. Unlikely uh, that a vehicle would have driven off to this side. We're gonna check out in front of the caves as we make our loop around towards the peninsula. We'll see if we see anything out there. Your side scan here showing anything off to the left and right 30 feet out. We're only in eight foot of water. It shows the straight down as well with our down imaging. And of course, you can see we're coming up on the caves. Comes up pretty quick. We're only in three foot of water. Very shallow water. Here. We're gonna go ahead and make our turn. We'll go into those caves here later. But we're out here for one thing, and that's to see if we can't locate a vehicle out here. 
heavy smell of bat guano. <laughs> Definitely a lot of bats back in there. Nice wide sweep. About 30, 40 feet away from the shore. Let's see if we can't pick anything up before we come right down the middle then. And do the last scan. Eight foot of water, eight, nine. There's a few rocks and debris right there off to the right. There's also a small little bump in here too. Nothing that's looking like a vehicle. This I'm sure is off that peninsula. We should start to see some stuff. Big rocks off the left side. Now that's interesting, that could be. I'm gonna paddle through this and then pause that. Definitely some debris there on the south side of this peninsula. We'll make a few passes towards it. Some rocks there on the left-hand side or potentially something there on the left-hand side. I'm gonna actually zoom in on that. That's what I was looking for before. I hit it from the opposite side so I can get a better picture of it. Hard to say what that is. That little split is from the time that I'm looking at my graph and then it catches back up, turns back on. We're gonna make a couple other passes in different directions through there. See what we can see. Yeah, that's the old quarry road. Okay, we're gonna try to paddle right up that road just like a truck would be leaving. See if we see anything off the left or right. I think if, uh, if this was intentional, that'd be a likely area to just drive right into it. if you can see it or not, but the, the kayak is pointing right at the entrance to the quarry. So the road comes down from up on here and comes straight down into the water. I'm gonna paddle just straight up that road. See if we see anything off to the left or right or underneath us. It's only eight foot deep right here. see that or not but you can see the screen really big rocks right there that's a big old rock I just confirmed it we're only in two foot of water I'm not seeing anything that looks large enough to be a car another rock on my right hand side I don't know if we'll be able to see it or not see anything uh-huh Okay. All right, so I, I don't know if you heard any of that, but he's not seen anything. He says there's a few boulders down there that, you know, want to double check. So he's going to go do that now. Uh, and then he's going to go check out the bat caves. So as of right now, 
it looks like we can clear this quarry, which that is not a bad thing. That means we, we go search somewhere else. And that's gonna be it for the day. We're gonna head back into shore. We looked around, saw some uh, large boulders in the water, but nothing, uh, like I say, we, we saw some large boulders in the water, but nothing really stood out as uh, a vehicle. So we'll, uh, we're gonna call this one clear for today anyway. And uh, we'll go back, take some look at some of the graph footage, uh, if it's saved. Uh, see what we can see but for the most part I think I'm gonna call this one clear.